What's up, buddies? Welcome back to the RTG. Welcome back to the grind. Holy man, it feels like I had a day off yesterday, but it was because I didn't play Ultimate Team. Well, we did. Okay, so hold on. Yesterday, you were supposed to get a, you know, live long recording. You're supposed to get a edited epi if we're talking about the YouTube side of things. But um, I ended up starting the stream really late because my son had a football game early morning and Leeds absolutely destroyed my mental health in the early morning. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. to watch the Leeds game, to watch them have 47 shots against Blackburn. Pero and Bamford and everybody else just sit there all like lost puppy dogs with, with Blackburn having 40 players behind the ball. Once again, the low block, literally from side to side, side to side, 47 pass attempts before Somerville cuts inside and tries and shoot. Or before we do 40 passes across goal 7,000 times, and then we play it back to Ampadu, and Ampadu launches the ball at Bamford, and Bamford has no idea what's going on to try and deal with it. I, I so then decided to not go live yesterday and to just go watch my son's football game and just be happy and stand in the sun and watch my kid do his thing. There's nothing to do on Ultimate Team, right? So what we are doing here, to, to update you as to why I didn't do anything yesterday, is we have planned a project team of the season. I, I wanted to work through the idea of what I was gonna do. I mean, Armalika might have released a video yesterday. You know what, I don't, I don't even know if he edited yesterday's hour long um, stream. Did he, did he make an epi yesterday or not? Let's see. No, he didn't. Armalika took a little vacation as well, fair play. But anyways, what we discussed yesterday uh, for the hour, hour and a half that we did is that we kind of tried to work through how we're going to do a project team of the season. Now, does team of the season start this Friday? Does the pre-pre of the pre-team of the season continue Friday onwards? I feel like team of the season won't start till the new season, right? So I would say that with the... Uh, with the season expiring in 10 days, I don't think it's going to be this Friday uh, in 15 hours. I think it's going to start next Friday. So we've got about a week and a half of dead content. So what better time than to do a project team of the season than now? The crap packs we're going to open because that allows me to build and fund the better packs, right? So we're going to craft the silver packs, the gold four player upgrade packs. We're going to craft the, uh, we're going to do one or two league SBCs a day. We're going to get back to doing that just to fund some tradable players into packs. Um, we'll most likely be, as you can see here, grinding out um, some gameplay and evos and all of that, which will get us an 87 by four and 85 by 10 should be pretty cool for team of the season. And so the, what will open is kind of the one rare gold player packs the mixed electrum packs the 7.5k packs maybe even the three player jumbo packs i don't think i'll open the seven sorry seven rare jumbo packs because i think well those might be good to open as well because there's, there's a lot of consumables that we could sell off to make more money so that's going to be the game plan the the daily you know 83 by 10s or the 84 by 7s we'll try our best to build those up as we go unfortunately i think for the next week and a half icon packs will probably be put on hold uh, and picks and and whatnot and the reason being is i don't know how i'm gonna spam the exchange program and do the icon packs at the same time it's just it's really hard it's really hard to do so we started kind of yeeting the club as well 90s and above i will save for something maybe if we get a dupe 90 and above that will went will be we decide okay we'll do this icon pick type of thing or this icon pack or maybe we'll start dino or i'm not entirely sure what the game plan is going to be there specifically but we'll figure that stuff out so project team of the season is well underway we're at well over 100 packs i'm going to double check exactly where we're at here for you guys in a second actually so says 138 packs here but uh, as mentioned we are going to grind through some things so let me walk you guys through that as well where where the game plan is the pps i'll be opening these pps i don't really know why but whenever we're doing the daily crappy packs opening during project team of the season so today if i get a dupe gold we'll just go do a player pick who knows right i know there's nothing in packs but if we get good fodder that goes into the exchange this is another thing to talk about. What do you guys think about this? I think this sucks. I just don't see this paying out. Again, some would say, yeah, but dude, you're going to put the same players into an 80 plus player pick. That's not going to pay out. But I still feel like at least the 80 plus player pick, it gives us something semi-decent to open. Maybe we only do five. We open five a day, maybe open 10 a day. But that could give us a chance to get, like I said, more fodder to make more for, uh, to, to make more exchange packs, right? Whereas this, I'm not going to open. And I just don't find a 77... Uh, is it a 77 by two even? It's just so ass. And then in terms of challenges, we got the marquee matchups and the team of the season warm-up challenge I don't care about. So marquee matchups two we'll be doing because again, why wouldn't I be doing another five tradable packs? Now jumbo premium gold player pack is pretty decent. Jumbo premium gold pack, as I said, I don't know what I want to do there. 
Do you think we open the jumbos, guys? Seven rares? Just for the, probably just to sell off consumables? Because consumables are getting really expensive right now. To the point where, again, I can't believe in mid-April, seven months into this game, nobody playing this damn game. And I'm sitting here thinking, hey man, I should do the BPM. <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's get rolling on the epi. Let's get in the grind. We've got gameplay to play. We've got champs to play. First things first. Do we... Oh, do I want to hate my life and hey, immediately play a game Sup, first? Nick? I forgot to say nudes in bio. Hey, by the way, can we all have a, like, can we all say hello and, and have a chat with Elon Musk? Come on, man. What have you done to X? All my mentions are, what is happening, by the way? How come I can't find a clean match? All my mentions are porn bots or people promoting their betting tweets. Oh, if you have problem being hacked on Instagram, click this username. Oh, you get 70 to 1 odds on my amazing bets. Oh, nudes in bio. Oh, if you like me here in my nude picture, click my bio. What is happening? Same on YouTube. Dude, do you understand? I mute. You know those YouTube commenters that have like their butts and vaginas hanging out? Oh my God, what a glorious emotional roller coaster your video is. Please post more. And then it's the screen. It's a picture of some chick with her boobs out. I mute and block about 10 of those a day on my channel. Like 80% of the interactions on my YouTube channel are just bots. Finals game on the way. How do you see this one going? This is like stands between the posts. Cafu plays with Grimaldo with the fullbacks. Bruno Fernandez plays. Now this has to be. Well, yeah, move your keeper. I'll dream time near post. Oh, Quick turns here. Awesome. Messi. I can't believe AI Cafu blocked that off the line, man. That's so crazy. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh! Wes! Oh, yeah, you didn't want to watch that replay, did you, you loser? Let's go. Oh, my God. Schneidzi. Hey, man. Oh my god, I should have just passed that across goal, but I had to shoot with Kaká there, man. Yeah. Wesley Snyder. Cantona. Great chance. Ooh, King Eric. Oh, you don't want to watch that replay? Don't worry, I'm going to though. Don't worry, I'm going to though. Okay, watch this. We're greening everything right now, boys. Dude, Archie, what the hell? Anyways, great great header there. Oh my god, dude, you're getting cooked. How's that? That's all right. Oh my god. Red card. Send him off, ref. It's abuse. Why are you so happy, dude? We got 14 games of this hell to play. Uh, good evening. What? <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. That's crazy, dude. Fair play to Leverkusen, man. 3 nothing up. Bundesliga title is theirs. What a party it's going to be in that part of Germany, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. Let's see. Imagine we get something crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, never mind. Never mind. So, on this lovely Sunday... With absolutely nothing going on right now, what type of content can we expect from EA? Did we, I mean, we didn't get a mini release yesterday, did we, guys? This might be the deadest week of Ultimate Team in all time. Don't forget your daily uh, your daily warm-up, though, guys. That actually has some pretty good packs in there. Okay, so objectives have basically died. They don't really do anything with objectives anymore. Maybe a good Evo. It's Sunday, after all. Come on, man. Okay. No new Evos. So the daily login will obviously do... Wait, did I just see another icon pack? You had an 81 plus pack towards team of the season. You unlock another uh, even better pack. We get two a day now or have we always had two a day? I really want to open these for a chance at Croy for Hullet. Wait, no. Yeah, well, no. During team of the season is probably when we'll do 
Maybe even Zambrotta, but definitely get Dino done. Is this new? Is this if I feel like this is the first time we've had a flashback in months. This is basically a Zambrotta regen. I mean, I'd still be very disappointed if this was the only content today. I must I must have missed something. Have I missed maybe an icon that they added? The gold and silver upgrade packs are gone now too. Yo, my silver and gold upgrade packs are officially gone. No, no, they're at seven. They're at seven. They're at seven. It's a, yeah, it's that stupid thing. It's at seven. So we got no Evos, and Evos have been dead for a week and a half. Friday's team was the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. So boring, so dead. Apparently there is an objective. Oh, or champs are right. Oh no, or champs are rivals. I'm just, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, leave me alone. Uh, 81 plus by defenders, midfielders, attackers. 83 defender pack. Okay, I mean, I guess I just get to earn that over time. Guys, I can't believe that that's quote unquote the content. That's it. Oh, we do have coming up for you is our continued no. coverage of the champ. Crouch and team of the year Messi? Oh no. <laughs> hey, be nice, dude. I got a gold Messi, bro. I've been using him for about four months. You have not allowed me to uh to upgrade him at all. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide that. a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, Sam Byram, what a ball, dude. The whipped pass boost is OP. Who can they pick out? I mean, if you're gonna mark Cordoba with Charlton on purpose, that's on you, brother. I got lucky there. Hey, Amen. Oh, Lionel. That's a gold Lionel Messi, by the way, brother. Beating a team of the year Messi. Let's go. Oh, my! Let's go! Sick football today, boys. I remember Nep was doing that last year. Dude, can we give this guy more chances, man? What is happening? Yeah, I mean, bro, anyone can just do power shots from everywhere. I, I I, don't know, because you had 15 shots from downtown, like you think you deserved anything from that game. My dude's taking shots all outside the 18. Like, well, okay. <laughs> Nick, sick football today, guys. 10 minutes later, this is the worst game ever. Yeah, two things can live in the same universe, my man. I have been playing sick football today, and this game is also the worst game ever. Tomorrow, we'll do some web app pack grinding as well. I kind of want to show you guys the, the grind I do <clears throat> uh, via the web app. I press, I don't know how they do it. I can't move my players. Uh, guys like that still run a, uh, a press after possession loss or press after heavy touch. Uh, so that mixed with their glitched tactics and their 4-3-2-1 and their direct passing, when they lose possession in the final third, the game presses you with about six players for about 10 seconds to 20 seconds. And because it's so delayed, it's really hard to tiki-taka out of the press. And then when you do tiki-taka out of the press and play the ball out of the press, your opponent's AI recovers so fast that it basically means nothing. There's zero punishment to playing like that. The game's back to being completely broken. EA did a few patches through the season, through this year, where they've tried to nerf wingbacks getting back too quickly after high pressing up the pitch but have you noticed since the latest patches they deleted those old patches wingbacks now teleport back perfectly within seconds that's something that they fixed and then th the issue has just been brought back again uh oh this is a problem or do we just yeet a 90 in another 90 ah eh, whatever we get rid of kandreva kandreva is a sick card but uh i don't really see myself using him too much anymore i mean i've only used him for 11 games i'm just gonna get rid of kandreva, kandreva man here we go, boys. To end off the episode today, we are doing Encore Player Pick Pack. So I'm hoping we can get a Thunderstruck Cruyff in here, right, guys? Honestly, that's probably the only thing I'd be super hyped about. What else would be I I'd be high? Team of the Year Ribbery would be nuts. Team of the Year Rio would be nuts. Fut oh, there's a couple of beastly Fut birthdays, too. That would be nice. That doesn't look like Thunderstruck, because Thunderstruck would have the smoke up top. It's going to be just a winter wild card, man. I hate this game.
No, you know who that is? I already know that stupid hairline. I already know that stupid hairline, man. I already know who this is. French, right? Oh, come on, dude. I always pack the same freaking players. I think, okay, I think that's Fault Birthday. Oh, my God. I have no... No, it's again the same player. It's that chick, right? The striker? <gasps> oh, my! Never mind! A freaking David Beckham! Oh, wow! Okay, then. That's huge! Wait, that's huge for me. I I'm sure he's not much on the market, but, dude, we used David Beckham for 10 games. He was so good. No, five games. He was so good. That's a W. I'm taking that as a W, man. I'm not... <gasps> oh, Thunderstruck! Okay. Guys, it's April. It's mid-April. I'm 38 years old. Let's all just rein it in a little bit here. Please, God, for the first time ever in my career, can I pack a Croy? Let this be it. No, nope, that looks like a Campbell again. That's my 900th Soul Campbell packed. I hate this game. Come on, man. It's never Cruyff, guys. Final one. Here we go. Can it be something erupting? Give me just false hope of it being Thunderstruck, please. Nope. No, it's winter fucking wild card. Again? Oh my god, Loudrup, dude. That's awful. Well, boys, I mean, I'll take a David Beckham. He's absolutely cracked. 100%. Maybe we even run a 4-4-2. I mean, I, oh no, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely taking David Beckham. There's no way I'm not taking David Beckham. In fact, actually, what I think I might do is I might use him as a box-to-box -box mid. But I seriously feel like this guy is taught, would be, sorry... Not is, but would be top tier as a box-to-box -box mid. An attacking-minded box-to-box mid. Heck yeah. So we'll use him in champs tomorrow. We'll catch you beaters on the flip side. Peace.